In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the gradient tool and also create swatches. You can save those gradients in any other object. So, uh, gradients basically just fade from one uh, color to another. So, I've got all these different kinds of gradients in here. Uh, and I also have these gradient windows open in swatches. Usually, they're over here, but I have to the right, but I've just pulled them out. You can pull these in and out. Uh, sometimes I even show up in this this little area, so that's kind of a preference uh, if you want to have those floating or um, not floating. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to keep it, but normally I do have it over here. So a gradient, uh, to first get a gradient in something, uh, what you typically need to do is you select an object, and um, over here on your colors, you have solid color, and the next one is your gradient, and then the next one over there is no color at all. So one of the easiest ways is probably to just click on that um, default one there and to get your gradient going. Now when you do that, it'll usually come in black and white, so you're going to have to come up and play a little bit here. Um, so if I want to change uh, the color of this gradient one, and once again, if you do not have that, just go to Window and then come down to uh, gradient and that'll pop that window up. Um, but you have it selected. I'm going to go ahead and double click. And right now it's only showing me grayscale. So in order for me to get some actual color in there, uh, this is a little tricky. You have to come over to this little pull down within that window and then choose um, RGB, uh, CMYK, or one of these other ones. I'm just going to choose RGB. And then from there, it'll get me some color. Um, same thing on this one. Double click on that little uh, color stop. And once I've done that, once again, I'm still getting just grayscale. So change that up and go to RGB. Uh, and then I can add in another color. So that'll get my gradients. Uh, from there, I can do all kinds of fun stuff. So if I want to just go underneath and click underneath it, uh, that'll give me another color. Uh, stop so I can add a third color and a fourth color. If I want to get rid of one, you just click, hold, and drag and pull that below you. You can move these around to affect the gradient. Uh, you also have these diamonds and that kind of affects how your gradient is going to look as well. Um, up here I've got an angle, so if I want to change the angle I could either type it in or I could choose one of these presets. If you're on an older version you just kind of drag this little slider bar. Uh, so that's kind of your basic uh, gradient uh, tool. Uh, you also have radial gradients that you can play with. Um, and depending on the shape, it'll show up in there different. So I'm on a square on this one, so it kind of shows up a little bit different than on some of these circle shapes uh, on there. If you want to get a little bit even more advanced, maybe I want to take this gradient and have it start up over here with the radial gradient. Uh, that's where we need the help of another tool. So there's a gradient tool over here, and if you click on that, what that does, it gives you this little bar, and it's a little tricky to deal with at first, but you can stretch this out. Uh, you can also move the gradient colors within uh, that piece, or you can also just mouse click, and that will kind of position where you want that to go. So some interesting tools. It's a little tricky at first uh, if you're using this more advanced tool. Uh, but can do some really cool effects uh, with that. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to get it into your swatches if you have one that you really like and you want to save it. Uh, from your gradient tool, if I want to save that, I would just take that gradient and just drag it over into my swatches and that would put that in that color. Uh, and that works with a lot of other colors too. If I want to just do a simple color, maybe there was something I wanted to use over and over, I could just select that color and just drag it into my swatches and now I have that uh, picked out so I don't have to go try and figure out what that color is again. So that's gradient swatches.